Welcome back guys. Today I'll be doing integration where I'll be integrating the following. However, I'll be using trig identities to assist. Let's get started. So here I'm going to integrate the following, but I'll be using trig identity. Next week I'll use partial fraction. So for this, what I'm going to do since b squared plus 1, I can see that if I put tan LCN identity, I am going to replace v. So let v equal tan x. That's the first thing I'm going to do. Now, it means that when I replace tan x to be v, I need to get rid of dv. So I differentiate v with respect to x. So I have dv over dx. And differentiating tan x, I will get sec square x. Now, I need to replace dv in the numerator. So, I am going to cross multiply where we carry the dx over. And we will have dv is equal to sec square x plus dx. So, now I can go ahead and substitute the information. So for dv, I can replace it with sec square x times dx. And then for v, I can replace it. So I'll have tan x, open bracket, tan square x. plus 1. Now, for this, where I have tan square x plus 1, it's an identity. I can replace tan square x plus 1 with sec square x. So I'm going to replace it. And when I replace it here, you know, it's going to cancel with the sec square x in the numerator. So after doing this, I cancel. So this is going to itself one time. So I am going to have the integral of 1 over tan x dx. Now, for tan x, for this I can rewrite it as either cot x or replace, you know, 1 over tan x is cot x, but I can also replace tan x with sine x over cos x, and that's the root I will take. So, tan x is sine x over cos x. And once we have a fraction in the denominator, we can reciprocate it, or in other words, we can flip the fraction in the denominator. So this will become cos x over sin x. So we'll have the integral of cos x over sin x dx. Now, this will give us an ln function. When we're integrating a fractional form like this, we will see the derivative in the numerator of the function in the denominator. So once we have it in this format, the integral of this is ln fx plus c. So looking at this, the integral of cos x over sin x, it's in that format where it differentiates sin x to get cos x. So the integral of this is ln sin x plus c. However, remember, I had substitute the letter V with a trig function. So this is not the final answer, but I need to go further. Since V is equal to tan x, I cannot forget that. I have expressed that tan x represents V. Then I have to use this information to find out what is sin x. So sine theta is equal to 
plus or minus, and this is the trig identity for it, tan theta all over the square root of 1 plus tan square theta. So it means if I have tan x, it's going to be the same thing. It's just that instead of having theta, I'm going to have x. This is a trig identity for sine theta. Now, I can replace tan x with v. So I will have v being replaced wherever I am seeing tan x. Now, remember, reason for doing this, I have the integral as the integral of ln sine x plus c, but where sine x is, is a modulus sine. So that indicate that the number will be positive because we're going to mod it. Can I find the natural log of a negative number? So realistically speaking, we don't need a plus or minus because v over the square root of 1 plus v squared is positive in order for it to work here. So for this, I'm going to forget about here and replace sine x with v over square root of 1 plus v squared. That's what's going to be here. So this will be the integral because remember, the question asks us to integrate 1 over v times v squared plus 1 with respect to v. And we have done using trig identities to assist us. Now you can put modulus sign if you want, but it is going to be positive, so we don't have to put it here. Just don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.